Good morning, YouTube family. Martinez Country Home here. Um, I thought I'd try something different this morning. Um, it's been pretty quiet, relatively speaking. Um, with every about with everything going on, the things that we've been kind of talking about this past these past few weeks and this past month. Um, honestly, guys, I've been reading a lot about the inflation. Um, I've been hearing, of course, about the Ukraine and Russia. Um, but honestly, uh, I, I know, of course, that the economy, there's there's things going on all the time um, that, you know, that are out of, out of our hands, basically. Um, so, but the thing is, is that there's always something, uh, there's always something going on in the background uh, sometimes. Things are, are kept from us. Uh, so we always have to be reading between the lines and on the news that we do get or go to alternative news sources. Um, and by the way, uh, this is, uh, I believe it's Wednesday, uh, the 22nd, April the 22nd, I believe. Wednesday, or is it Thursday? I don't know. I think it's... I, I think it's yeah it's thursday i'm sorry guys I'm, i apologize uh the, the days just go just so just fly by so fast um this video also is kind of a nod to one of my favorite uh youtube content creators um first time i ever saw anybody shooting videos really that i can recall uh, and that were good was uh richie from boston uh he's one of my favorites uh he's got a few sites uh jailbreak overlander and then he kept his, his videos kept getting taken down and his channels um, so now he's on YouTube uh, he has his own uh, website but anyway guys um, yeah um, so I hope y'all had a great evening yesterday um, yeah um, so I thought I'd try something different this morning I wanted to usually on my drive to work Usually, I'm uh, listening to videos, uh, podcasts, um, and on the drive into work, um, it's kind of like anywhere I go, it's kind of like a recon mission in a way. Uh, I'm always just observing about what's going on, what I see. Um, I live out in the country, so uh, the commute to work, there's a lot to see. Um, it's not that far from the, <clears throat> excuse me, from the city limits. Um, but I do live out of the city limits and at the edge of the county. Um, so I do get to see a lot of uh, little different things. Um, so the point of my video this morning, guys, uh, was really just to, I wanted to try something different. Um, and I also wanted to, lately with uh, with all the, I don't know how to say, um, what's the best, what, am I, what are the words I'm looking for? Um, with all the drama going on in the Ukraine and Russia and, and, and talk of possible nuclear war, and that, that is possible. I mean, anything's possible. Uh, you got two superpowers that are bumping heads, um, and you got Russia putting their fingers on, on the Biden family's uh, pie, so to speak. They're putting their fingers in, in this pie, and, and uh, they don't like that. Uh, who knows what's going on under, behind the scenes, uh, under the waters. Who knows? But it got me to thinking that, uh, you know, I, I work pretty far from where I live. Um, almost 30 miles. And San Antonio, the thing with San Antonio is, you know, you can't just make, like, say you have to, like, say you had to walk. For, for whatever reason, or you or you had to bike. Let let's say let's throw out there the possibility that there was an EMP attack or something. There was no power. All the vehicles are out. Electronics. All the effects that an EMP does, and you were stuck on the other side of the city. And the only way to get home, guys, is get a bike, commandeer a bike, get a bike, or walk. The problem is, is that in San Antonio, um, we have 
five military bases. Actually, a couple of them have been, they're, they're joint, they call them joint bases, right? Uh, joint Base San Antonio. Uh, they're basically civilian contractors and the military together. It's basically the military industrial complex, guys. You got Boeing and you got all these companies working in there. And a couple of them are basically free trade zones. That's really what they are. Uh, Y'all can look that term up. Uh, there's a lot to it. But um, So we have, but still, we have Fort Sam Houston right in the center of the city. Uh, we have Lackland Air Force Base. And we have Kelly Joint Base San Antonio. Kelly Air Force Base is now called Joint, Joint Base San Antonio uh, or Port San Antonio, something like that. Um, you have them right across each other, uh, split down the middle. Uh, you got them like right, literally right next to each other, guys. So they take up the, the, the southern, the southwest part of the city. Then you have, you have Brooks, what used to be called Brooks Air Force Base, but now it's called Brooks City Base. And that's also south but east then you have up in the northeast guys you have um, Randolph Air Force Base so plus if if we have another we have uh, Camp Bullis is which is where they train and that's up there in the probably like north central San Antonio outside of the our, the outer loop 1604 Okay, so if you're going, depending on where you're going, really the only clear way you have out, guys, is uh, walking. If you had to walk in a straight line as a crow flies, so to speak, you can only really go east or west. And the problem is that if you wanna, even if you were, like let's say there was a nuclear war, you know, and I used to think about this in the 80s when I was a kid, uh, during the Cold War, I was like, man, we're dead. You know, here in San Antonio, we're dead. We have so many Air Force bases. I mean, we got to be on the on the list of, of a missile strike, you know, from, from the Soviet Union back in the day. So the same applies now, guys. There, there's a lot of uh, infrastructure here. Uh, our city is known as Military City USA. Uh, we have, besides the military, we have other entities here, like uh, we have NSA, um, we have the South Texas Research Institute. Um, just have a lot of, you know, big brother entities here. We have a lot of government and we have a lot of, you know, a lot of big entities here. Um, so, you know, I, I can't think of everything, but... When all this started coming about with Russia and, the, and uh, Ukraine, and there was talk of, you know, there might be nuclear war, which doesn't make sense because, I mean, you know, what are, they're going to nuke each other and the land's going to be no good unless they, there's other bombs, guys, that they can blow up, neutron bombs that will leave the land alone and just kill, just kill the people. I mean, there are bombs, at least that's what they say. Um... So, so let's stick to the there being a nuclear war or something. Um, first, first obstacle would be to walk. With, to walk in is that you got to go through the the military bases are like right all over the place. So there's no real uh, way to escape the blast, the radius. They overlap. Second is that you can't just walk in a straight line or a or, or relatively straight line because the bases are in the way. So, I guess what I'm trying to say here, guys, is uh, if y'all ever have to bug out, of course, or y'all have to get somewhere, get back home, you know, a lot of people talk about bugging out, but I'm, I'm always thinking about, you know, bugging in back home in case you get caught out for some reason um, but I think it would be good to get a map of your city or your area and just plan for the unexpected we're preppers guys um, we're preppers and we have to we have to try and think of every eventuality um, 
that's kind of getting out there. But ever since this uh, pandemic started in March of 2020, um, I don't think nothing's impossible. I, I believe that the powers that be can do anything they want, basically. Um, they shut us down. They shut the whole economy down. They shut, they shut down the city. Um, I remember when it first started, uh, I couldn't believe my eyes. Uh, the city was like a ghost town, the, the downtown area. Uh, I was going to work. My commute to work and back was like empty streets. It's almost like when um, when um, when their school, you know, when school finishes in the summer or their spring break, and the and the traffic dies down, you know, because I guess people are not dropping off their kids at school. But um, you know, I I used to say to myself that well, that's kind of out there. It's kind of hard to do. Um, I don't think that can be done. But I don't believe that anymore, guys. I believe anything can happen. I believe anything literally can happen. They can do anything they want because they did it. And really, nobody, nobody, nobody raised the fuss. Not really. And not enough people raised the fuss. There was always people um, that just thought this was an agenda, and we didn't buy it. Um, but I believe anything can be done. I believe if they want to, they can shut off the water. I believe they can shut off the power. I believe they can make it look like there's a war. I mean, that's just my opinion, guys. Um, I believe that they can do that. I believe that they can make it seem like there's a war. But that that being said, it's, it's still, we still have to prepare for something happening. And so, Plus, I live very far. I mean, I live very far um, from where I work at. And, uh, you know, I've planned to, you know, you gotta, I've planned my route. I've been looking at routes to get back home. Uh, I've been looking at places where, where to maybe put strategically placed caches of supplies. Um, I walk a lot, guys. <clears throat> um, I like to walk during my lunch hour. Um, when I'm walking in my lunch hour, I like to listen to podcasts. I like to catch up on what's been happening during the day, what I'm what I'm missing. Um, and that's what I do. So I can walk. I mean, I can. I'll walk and walk and walk. I I'll probably walk. Um, normally, I walk about 35 to 40 minutes. I like to walk, and the route that I walk. It's, it's basically half a mile. So, I can walk. I can walk. It takes me about eight minutes. There, let me see. Do I have that right? It takes me about, I think it's like eight minutes. Seven to eight minutes. Let's say seven and a half minutes to walk the half, the half mile. So... It, it takes me about 16 minutes, roughly, ballpark, to walk a mile. Something like that, yes. It takes me uh, um, 16 minutes to walk a mile. Um, usually, and that's er, I, every day. I like to walk every day. And so, now, I don't do this walk like with a big old backpack like Jason does from New York Prepper. Um, you know, like, so I have not, of course, I have not walked with a ruck or anything like that. Um, but I can walk. I, I can, I do have a, a a backpack that I always carry with me in case something happens. Um, I have water in it. I have just basic, like, basically like a everyday carry. Um, everyday carry bag. I have my little everyday carry in that in that backpack, <clears throat> and uh, so with everything going on, guys, uh, I don't leave anything to chance. I don't I don't believe that anything is off off the table. Um, it used to be that yeah, you know, even myself that I was always a uh, what you call a quote unquote conspiracy theorist. Um, 
even I sounded crazy to myself sometimes, but I always knew that that there were certain things that were gonna happen, and they did. Um, it doesn't matter the reason that they give, but the thing is, is that what I was planning on, it happened. Uh, it, it happened, and it's happening now. So, you know, I just wanted to let y'all know, guys, that you know we gotta keep on. We have to keep on preparing. I hope that one day, all my preps, I don't need them. I, I, I really do. I hope that I don't ever need them. Um, but, but this world, what it is, is guys, is uh, it's like a, it's like a boil that needs to be popped, and something needs to happen because we can't go on like this. Something needs to happen. The, the, the corruption and the, the, the infection needs to be cleaned out. And I, that's the way I see it. This world is so corrupt and so dark. Um, it's literally being run for the benefit of just a few people. And, you know, we, we're, we're out here. Uh, we're out here uh, just trying to make it and, and you know... Living day to day, worrying about our children, our grandchildren, that they have a good future. And that's really what it is for me, guys. Um, trying to live our life so that we can walk, so that one day when we pass away, we can stand before God and, 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 and know that we lived the best life that we could. That, that he wanted for us, that he wanted us to live. And I'm not there yet, guys. Uh, I have a lot of work to do. Uh, so that's something that that we have to do while living through this, you know, through this, I don't know what you call it, want to call it hell on earth, whatever. But um, I don't live a gloomy life. I have fun. Y'all know me, but for those of y'all that know me, y'all know I'm always very outgoing and very upbeat, always very positive. Um, but I'm a realist, and I know what's going on, and so I prepare. I prepare for that. You can live. You can prepare for for the end of the world and live your life. That's the way, that's what I do. It's just preparing to me is just. As, as a situation calls for, that's how much, that's how I prepare. So right now we're not living through good times. And so I prepare. But guys, <clears throat> I really like, I, maybe I should do these more often. Um, I did see, uh, I did shoot one video a while back, maybe like last week or something. I'm driving on, I, it was kind of crazy watching myself. Uh, luckily, I haven't seen any crazy driving because usually, guys, <laughs> man, uh, normally I'm, <laughs> I got to watch my language, let's put it that way. Uh, people drive so crazy these days, um, but I did leave my house a little bit earlier, so I've kind of, I'm kind of missing all the, all the, all the, all the crazy traffic, but, um, yeah, I, I watched that video of myself and I was like, wow, you know, I got pretty crazy watching myself drive um i'm always try, i try to be very observant of uh of traffic i use my mirrors a lot um just because everybody drives so crazy these days um but anyway guys um thanks uh thank y'all for joining me um y'all have a great day and uh right now everything's pretty quiet um, Russia and Ukraine they're doing their thing up there um, we really can't do anything about it uh, I heard Syria uh, an errant missile fell in Israel and Israel went and you know Israel Israel does what they do they like to bomb people and they went and retaliated um, so basically to me that's the same old same old in the Middle East uh, but anyway guys we just you know, we have our economy. Here in Texas, guys, I ain't gonna lie. Um, here in Texas, 
the economy is good. Uh, economy is good at face value, right? A lot of activity, uh, people buying stuff, people, you know, of course it's off of printed money, right? We all know this, uh, it's, it's artificial. Um, there's not enough people producing for what, for all the people spending, you know, we, we understand this. Uh, but that being said, uh, that being said, uh, um, there is a lot of economic activity. Uh, the grocery stores are pretty full. Um, the past couple of days, honestly guys, I go to the store, grocery store almost every day. Um, not every day, but to pick up maybe lunch for work or a few things that we need, um, fill in some gaps uh, on our preps or whatever. Just basically, I always pick up basics, right? But past couple of days that I had gone, uh, and I don't know, it's because like I said, uh, I went on a, on a short, on a day where they haven't stocked up yet. But uh, the managers there, there was a lot of managers, like people with the, you know, you can't you kind of tell that they're managers, uh, but they were stocking up. Um, they were kind of like arranging their, their, their shelves. Um, I don't know if it was a slow day or they haven't, it's not a truck day per se, but uh, there was a lot of people there and there was, uh, they were kind of stocking up the cans to where they face, uh, they stack them up like two or three so that they're facing the whole shelf, you know what I'm saying? Um, but uh, I keep an eye on that. A lot, of guys. One thing I did notice: uh, there's some, there's certain uh, products that I haven't been seeing little by little uh, disappearing. Is uh, some of the processed food that comes in the boxes, uh, the frozen stuff. I've been noticing a lot of products that are not around anymore. Uh, they don't, they don't have them. Or what they're doing is they're selling them individually now instead of the case. Uh, and maybe they still have them like at Costco or Sam, some of the bigger. Uh, stores like that where they sell in bulk they might be there but at the grocery store where we go uh where we normally go i haven't been seeing them but anyway guys uh i'm gonna cut this video thanks a lot for uh riding along with me i still got a ways to go um so i'm about halfway uh so y'all have a great day guys thanks a lot just keep on stocking guys stick them to stack them to the rafters don't stop uh food hygiene medical water you gotta get things to defend yourself to defend those things you know what i'm saying um just prepare guys we're not living in normal days y'all know this uh, y'all can feel it if y'all don't see it y'all can feel something's off um so just keep on stacking guys right now is as good as it's gonna get use your money wisely stock up uh, there's gonna come a time guys when you're gonna wish that you had done more it, I hate to say that but it, 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 it's gonna come I don't know when I, I don't I, I have no idea because these people can control they'll, they'll pull the plug when they're ready to pull the plug that's what's gonna happen so anyway guys y'all have a great day y'all take care of each other and love each other out there because that's what we're here for God bless